My name's Tamika Wilder. I'm a somatic sexologist um, and multi-qualified therapist. I have a long history in facilitation and group work and my purpose on this planet is to help lead humans back to their body, help lead them back to a grounded and mature and enjoyable sense of their sexuality and sensuality. We've just been in a lot of lockdown in Melbourne. So... Yeah, I'm a mixture of kind of a bit dense and stagnant and also always super energised to be doing anything concerning my business or um, work. That's what keeps me keeps me good. Um, being of service to others, like doing my work in the world, super important. Why is it important? Um, because I guess it's important because it doesn't always feel like work to me it's very much that moment that people get in their lives well some people are lucky enough to get where it's like if you do what you love you'll never work a day in your life that kind of deal so for me when I jump into that it doesn't feel super heavy and it feels important because the work that I do is like um yeah a big part of what it means to be human I'm the orgasmic mama so that's like my handle on, on Instagram and such. And I do erotic embodiment coaching and um, sex ed for mums and parents. Um, I do somatic coaching, so helping people um, back into their bodies. So lots of breath work and movement and sound and um, conscious touch, things like that. So I use somatic tools to, to um, yeah, help people land in their bodies and also I wouldn't say heal trauma, but help kind of people come back into their sexual selves after experiencing traumas like, you know, a baby or um, being a victim of abuse. So it's kind of like sex therapy, but through the body. Um, I work a lot with mums around bringing them back into um, orgasmicity and pleasure in their bodies after babies too. Um, why, why do you do that kind of work? Well, for some reason, my whole life, I, it's like I've had a sign on my head saying safe person to talk about sex with. Um, I've always been told that I'm very like non-judgmental and um, people have always just come to me with really gnarly or intense or yeah, full on stories that they would usually feel a lot of shame about. So I just seem to carry this level of comfort around this work I always have. So, um, actually the taboo draws me to it a lot the fact that it's things it's something that not a lot of people can really freely talk about i think i was in a in in an environment through my teen years that really set up the foundations for me having a, a big window of tolerance when it comes to things that you know people would usually hide so putting our full human expression and our full human experience um, out in front of us to see the spectrum of what it means to be alive actually is really appealing to me. I like to get deep into the way things operate and deep into our psyches and into our soma and into our sex and into the breath and into the thoughts and beliefs and behaviours that we need to unpick and have a look at and get curious about in order to create new states of being, in order to create new versions of self and um, yeah, as you can hear from the way I talk about it, that's just, that's what makes it important to me. Yeah, you can really hear the passion in your voice when you're speaking about it. Um, what kind of an impact does doing that work have on your life? Hmm. Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind is around my ability to be quite a, a sex positive parent or a parent that likes to kind of, um, yeah, have space in my home for the full expression of my kids and my partners. And um, I think also just reminding me about how to best serve my own um, body. And, and, you know, it was through this work that I healed my own trauma. And um, yeah, so I get lots of all of that kind of stuff, but then just the buzz of doing what I love is the best. The best. What do you think has shaped the person that you are today? Mm. it's a really it's a difficult question I don't I actually have no idea I actually feel like I'm just who I've always 
how, who I was always meant to be. I don't know that there was anything that really, I mean, obviously my parents and my upbringing and stuff, but yeah, I guess I've had a lot of life experiences which were um, I was just going to say like good and bad. What I'm noticing in this question is it's difficult to talk about my life experiences that were traumatic or have been difficult. It's difficult to talk about them now in the same way because I don't see them as traumatic or difficult. I see them as like perfect. Um, but what's led me to be this person or what's shaped me is just my whole life. Everything that I've experienced up until this moment has just all landed in perfectly for me to be, you know, who I am. What's most important to you in your life? Hmm, what's most important to me in my life? Well, you know, a lot of people say they're children. And that's kind of a given. Like, my children are very important to me. Um, obviously, because I care about them and love them. But what is actually important to me in my life is a different question than who do you love the most or, you know, do you love your kids? Um, so what's important to me in my life is that I always am following my bliss following what feels good 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 for me um it's important yeah that i keep understanding myself better connecting being authentic those things are very important to me um doing what feels good actually is my number one thing why because I feel like I can trust, I can trust in what feels good. Obviously there are things that I have to do to run my business and live my life that I'm like, ah, I don't want to do that. Um, but overall, if I'm guided by things that feel good for my soul and that light me up, there's something to be trusted there. And it's like, that's the path, like follow the bliss, follow the good stuff, follow the good juju, follow the bits that are going to feel like they're soothing your soul rather than, you banging your head up against a, a brick wall yeah um what are some of the things then that make you feel whole make me feel whole um when i when i meditate or when i do my erotic embodiment practice i feel very whole sex makes me feel whole um i have a very i feel whole like most of the time so i can't actually determine what it is outside of me that makes me feel whole I just I feel whole and complete when I'm in nature um yeah so in my body or in nature I feel whole whole and complete like I want to create lots of big awesome meaningful business but I want to do it from a place of peace and depth and gentleness and um, grace and ease and so yeah that's that's what I want to leave behind. Like, Tamika created some amazing magic and she was pretty peaceful. She didn't, you know, neglect her kids or her family. She didn't have to, like, sacrifice health or she didn't burn out and learn hard lessons. Like, I want to do it with peace and integrity. What's your why? My why is because all humans deserve to live a life of pleasure and liberation and um, deep enjoyment and safe enjoyment of their bodies, their sex, their sexuality. Um, all humans deserve that. And I hold that torch. I hold this torch for that reason. So humans can return back to their the truth the truth of who we are and the truth of what we were intended to be and what's available to us inside of our body and our mind is so so powerful so infinite there's so much energy and and pleasure that lives there that i i want everyone to return so that's why i do what i do